हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन नॉर्मल फंक्शंस एंड एरो फंक्शंस इन जावास्क्रिप्ट सो एज यू नो दैट एरो फंक्शंस इज अ न्यू कांसेप्ट इन इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन ईएस6 जावास्क्रिप्ट व्हिच इज अ लेटेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ जावास्क्रिप्ट सो बेसिकली वी विल सी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ नॉर्मल फंक्शन एंड दिस ईएस6 एरो फंक्शंस सो वी विल टेक अ एग्जांपल हियर टू एक्सप्लेन टू यू गाइस सो This is uh, a simple index.html file that I have created inside my favorite text editor, Visual Studio Code text editor. So now just make a script tag here, and uh, let me just zoom in to see better here. So first of all, we will see how to declare a normal normal function in JavaScript. So normal function is something that you declare very normally. So let's suppose we declare this definition function, hello world. So basically, this is a simple function which will print out on the screen. let me alert the user that uh, hello world this is a normal function so basically we declare the function here with the help of this function keyword here and followed by the name of the function and a set of parentheses and then a set of curly brackets and inside this you define your function so this is a simple alert statement so now to call this function it is pretty simple you need to call this like this a set of parentheses that's it so now if i open this file here you will see this function will execute and it will tell me inside the alert statement hello world this is a normal function so basically this is the simplest way of declaring a normal function here this is called normal function so let me just comment this line here and now we will look at how to declare the same function here inside the syntax arrow function so arrow function is uh, the es6 syntax here modern syntax so how to declare this so this is very simple guys we will declare this by let keyword let and then we will declare the function name which is hello world and now it is a very difference that you will see here put a equal sign here like this and then a set of parentheses like this and again arrow symbol this is equal to and then greater than sign that's it this is the arrow syntax that i am talking about and then a set of curly brackets that's it this is a shorthand symbol so here why we don't need to write function keyword so this is a major difference that you can see here a set of parentheses and this is equal to sign and then greater than sign so this is called a arrow here you can just see the form it is taking the form of a arrow so that is why this function is called as arrow function yes six now you can define your function like here the same alert statement that we can write here hello world this is a this is an arrow function so basically now this is a arrow function here now we can call the same function here if i call this function that's it hello world parentheses if i execute it you will see now this function hasn't been executed let me just see hello world has already been declared oh sorry we need to also uncomment this line here so now you will see it will once again tell me hello world this is an arrow function so basically you will see the difference between a normal function and the arrow function so this is the syntax difference here we don't need to write function here this is a shorthand symbol here we declare the variable name and we initialize it to the arrow function and then we define the what it is going on inside the arrow function so we define the statement so this is a major difference we don't need to write the function keyword inside arrow function and now i will be taking a different example how to pass arguments inside the normal function as supposed to es6 functions here so first we will take example which takes a normal function add two numbers so here we will provide two numbers here first will be uh, a and second will be b and uh, here we will return the result a plus b that's it so now we will call this function which is uh, simply we will call this we will call this inside the alert statement the two numbers result is and here we will pass call this function add two numbers and here we need to pass integers so we will pass 5 comma 6 that's it so if you call this you will see it will return your result here the total the two numbers result is 11 because it has calculated the result here we pass these numbers here 5 comma 6 it take the argument here you can see 5 comma 6 and it returned the result which is 5 plus 6 which comes out to be 11 and it is showing the result 11 here 
So basically, this is the way by which you can call any sort of normal function, pass some arguments to it. You can see 5 comma 6 and uh, this arguments can be anything. You can also pass string as well, float num floating number as well. Let me also pass floating number. You will see 5.5. .5. So return, it will be returning once again. Now it will return 11.5. So you can pass any sort of value. You can also pass here John as well. So you can pass any sort of string value, integer, float. Also, you can also pass array as well, object as well. So any value you can pass here. You can see it is concatenated the string and the number. So in this way, you can call the function with arguments. So this is normal function. Now we will talk about the arrow function. This is very simple. So basically, we will declare the same function here inside arrow functions here. So once again, this is a syntax parentheses equal to sign and greater than sign. This is the arrow function. So here it will take two arguments. We will pass inside this. You can see a comma b. That's it. Again, we will say return a plus b. That's it. So this is a syntax by which you can do, do this. And uh, now we can also console log it. The number result is again we can call this add two numbers 5 comma 6 that's it so once again if I open this you will see I think it is a console log statement so we can need to go to console here so you will see number result is 11 so it is printed out and the nice thing about arrow functions guys is that you can uh, do it in a cleaner way so you don't need to write it inside three statements this is a very long form you can also concatenate all these lines you can also have a shorter version as well so let me now show the shorter version of uh, shorter version of arrow function so this is this only applies if you only have the written statement of one line so we can declare this in one line also add two numbers and we take the arguments which is a comma b and now simply we need to return return a plus b that's it sorry a comma b so here we need to a comma b so you need to put a double curly bracket so parentheses and here you will write return a plus b that's it just wait let me just search for the shorter version it is available shorter version declare arrow function you can also search on google as well whenever you found any sort of difficulty in one line in javascript so basically it will tell you one line arrow function example So yes, so what you need to do, you don't need to put this parentheses. This is the main syntax in order to declare it in the same line here. So simply you don't need to put, you, you get the this one and that after this return a plus b, that's it. I think why it is. I think return statement is not necessary here. So simply a plus b, that's it, I think. So now this will do the job for you. So this is simply, uh, it has uh, eliminated the function keyword. It has also eliminated the return statement as well. So here you can pass any sort of expression. You can uh, make use of any, you can calculate, you can also do a minus b, a into b. So we are multiplying these two numbers. So we can simply call this now. So we can change the function here multiply numbers so now this is a shorthand symbol so this is a very simple way to declare arrow functions so we can call this inside our alert statement so result is and then we can call this so multiply numbers and here we can pass 5 comma 6 so this will multiply these two numbers 5 into 6 is 30 so once i open this you will see result is 30 so now the return statement is also not necessary so 
you cannot do for normal function like this so if you make any sort of function you cannot have a function normal function like this you cannot eliminate this return statement inside normal function but you can do this inside arrow function this is a cleaner syntax and a more modern syntax here so here also you can uh, uh, let's suppose you want to you can eliminate this return statement this is a syntax so you don't need to write return statement when you are if you want to return multiple lines you can put parentheses and then you can return multiple as you can you, you can also do this like this also if you have multiple lines of code so let's suppose you do x is equal to a y is equal to b and then you need to return x plus y sorry x into y this will also work because this contains three lines of code so that is why return statement is necessary but if you have a function which is a one liner function you don't need to write much lines of code only one uh, one uh, line is required you can eliminate the return statement as well so once if i open this it will also put result is 30 so depending upon your function length you can also eliminate the return statement as well inside arrow function so this is the beauty of it and uh, you have many seen these arrow functions in place in jquery as well and in many if you call let's suppose uh, we have a button here inside our dom so we get the id of it so let's suppose we have a button here of submit so when, whenever i click this button we have attached an ID to it or button. So once again, I get the reference to the button. And if I want to attach an event listener, so whenever I click this button, I need to execute a function. So basically you attach it to something like this, add event listener. And this is a click event. And now the second argument is the arrow function, what you call here. So put a comma and you call this like this. So this is again an arrow function. You put a, a function name, which you want to execute so submit data let's suppose so you call this like this so this is a one liner arrow function so once again you are using the concept of arrow function so many uh, modern concept of javascript are already using the concept of uh, arrow function so you can also declare the function like this also this is called anonymous function because you are uh, putting the definition inside the function itself so this is called anonymous function in arrow function so once again, if you click the button, you will see hello world. You can also define the function elsewhere also by using the concept like this. So you don't, you don't need to parentheses, you don't need to put parentheses here like this. You don't need to like put like, just put the function name and now you need to define your function name. If the function contains lots more lines of code, you can also do this like this also. So these are some of the con concept guides that we have uh, seen in this video. Uh, what is it happen? Why it is not? Uh, I think we need to call this, sorry, for this to work. So yes, you need to call this. So put a parenthesis. So these are the, uh, guys I have shown you uh, the differences between normal function and arrow function in ES6 JavaScript. Hopefully you like this video and uh, please comment on this video as well. And uh, I will be seeing you in the next video.